So here we are on my Amazon Fire TV, latest February 2023 update. You can just see massive adverts at the top, all of these sponsored applications, this promoted content covering up most of my screen. But watch what happens when I press one button on my remote. One click and we are now instantly taken to a custom launcher where we can see all of our favorite applications. We can see the current weather for my location. I have all of my categories, all of my favorite applications. And of course, without seeing any of that sponsored content, any of those Amazon adverts, I really can go ahead and customize my device exactly how I like it. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this latest version of this custom launcher, which works great on your Android TVs and your Amazon devices and really just get the best from your home screen. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now, the great thing with the new Leanback launcher is, as you can see here, if we time that, so ready, steady, go. And you're already there, guys. So if you are looking for a super fast launcher, this one is definitely worthwhile checking out. On top of that, in terms of customizations, I would say for somebody that's looking for a quick and easy to use launcher, this one also ticks that box. Now we'll show you the step-by-step -step instructions and how you can get this on your device, but let me quickly jump over to my Fire Stick Max so I can show you how I launch this. Now on the 4K Fire Stick Max, I'm actually using the Pro Remote Control which you know has these two buttons, these two customizable buttons, which you can use to launch standard applications. But on my device, we can see when I press one, it instantly takes me to the custom launcher. Now, the way I've done that is I've used another application which is built into the Amazon App Store, which is called App Opener. Now, as the name implies, this application just opens up another installed application on your device. So if I open up this app, we can see it just takes me straight to that custom launcher. And if I want to change what the application does, if I go to my settings, go to applications, find app opener in the list, click on that, click on clear data. So you're basically removing the configuration that's now done. So now when you actually start this application, launch app, it now just shows you all of the apps installed on your device and it's asking you which application do you want to launch the next time you open up app opener. So I can now go through the list. You can find your favorite custom launchers, your favorite applications. Here we can see the Project Ivy launcher. You got the Wolf launcher. But my example, I'm gonna go back and select home screen, which in fact is the lean back on fire launcher. So I click on that. That's now set, I press back a few times. If I open up app opener, it takes me straight to the custom launcher. And the cool thing is you can even use your voice to open up any application that you've set through App Opener. So, so for example, if I say open App Opener, that will actually launch the custom launcher. So you can actually launch your favorite third-party applications with your voice. Now, if you don't have these two customizable buttons, you can also remap these media buttons, like for example, Netflix or Disney Plus. And I will show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can do that on all of your devices. But for now, let me show you what the application Leanback Launcher looks like when you first start here. The first time you open it, it will take a few seconds. It will ask for permission. Let's click on allow. And we are now inside the custom launcher. So this is what I was saying that it's actually more or less pre-configured. So if you are somebody that doesn't want to mess about too much, as soon as you open up the launcher, it will look more or less like this, where you'll have a row for your video apps, which it will automatically detect. You'll have something for music, then you have all of your applications there. But again, guys, we can see in terms of a home screen, it's super quick. You can quickly navigate around. You see all of your third-party applications, and of course, without seeing any of those annoying Amazon adverts. Now, in terms of customization, if you go to this cog wheel on the top right, let's click on that. Let's start with the weather first, because I know lots of you actually like the home screen widgets. So let's get to weather preferences. Let's turn on the weather. Now I personally turn this option off. I just find it a bit quicker and just set the location yourself. So I can go on this. And for example, I just say New York, click on next. 
that's now gone in you can now show the location and if you want to use imperial units you can but let's leave that as default let's go back back again and in a couple of seconds now it will have the location there and we should start seeing the weather for that location so it works out the box don't need to install any other add-ons or anything like that we can see it's a nice 12 degrees in new york let's go back to settings now if you go to the home screen view let's go to the edit home rows say for example you can have an input row so if you do want to change inputs depending on the device you're using you can enable that i like to show the favorites row and you can choose how many rows you want to show. Now, I personally prefer to turn the video rows off. I'm not interested in that because I'd rather create my own row of my own favorite applications. I'll turn the music one off as well. And also turn off the games row. So for me, I'm just going to have just the input row on and also the favorite rows. Let's go back. And we can see now the home screen looks a little bit cleaner. We can see I can change the inputs down here and we have a big list of applications. Now what I like to do is choose the applications I regularly use, like this one here. Let's now press the context key, which is one with the three lines, and click on add to favorites. Let's press back, and we can see that's now added at the top. Let's also add in Netflix. So again, context key, add to favorites. Let's press back. Now, of course, you want you can also hide applications, so if I never want to see um, this application um, here, I can again press the context key and click on hide in the launcher. Press back and the application is now gone. So you can, of course, fully customize it. But we can see now we have the weather working on the top right. We have my favorites row. Then we have the big list of applications. Let's go back to settings. And the next thing you may want to do is customize the wallpaper. and. I will leave a link on my tutorials page on some of the wallpapers I've previously used. So if I click on home screen view, let's go to default wallpaper. And basically any wallpaper that you download through downloader from our website will be saved in your downloader folder. Let's click on allow to give that permission. Let's now click on choose wallpaper. And now when I go to the downloader folder, I can see some of the things I previously downloaded. So here you have some nice sort of scenery. My current favorite one, which is this one here. Back a few times. And we're now looking at this really nice looking home screen. Now you can also customize the size of these tiles as well as the, the corners, the border radius. So again, if I go back into settings, go back into home screen view, go to the banner appearance. Now I change my banner size down to 80. Of course, depending on the size of your TV or how far you sit, you can customize that. Let's just do um, let's just do 80. Click on next. Now, also the corner radius, I like to change that to a high number just to make them a bit more rounded. So I'll set my corner radius to 20. Click on next. Press back, and we can now see. The tiles just look a little bit smaller, a bit more rounded off. But just how nice does that look, guys? I mean, it's a really clean, nice looking launcher. You won't have any issues with those gray tiles that you have on the Amazon stock launcher. You'll see all your applications. And of course, you can customize the sections, add favorite applications. You can move things around. And just with the speed and simplicity, I definitely think it's worthwhile checking out. So let me now show you how you can get this on all of your devices. Guys, before I forget, let me just share this amazing offer, which is only available for the next two weeks, whereby you can get complete protection for all of your devices, all of your Fire Sticks, all of your Android TVs, Windows, laptops, phones, everything covered with maximum protection, change your IP address, hide your online activity, access geolocked content, and to get all of that for under $3 a month, I definitely think you want to take up this special offer. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment. Thank you. Okay, so to get the latest version of this launcher on your Fi Sticks, on your Android TV devices, just open up Downloader or your favorite browser. Go to techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in this short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on Go. Now, when you get to my site, head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines. Click on that click on tutorials 
And the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this new version of the Leanback Launcher. Let's open that up. Here we are. So latest version as of February 2023. No adverts, wallpaper support, lots of great features. Keep scrolling down. And with all of that, we should have a few links. Now here, for example, the first one is the latest link to the updated version of this launcher. Now I've also put here auto star, which will basically allow you to choose an application, which I will demonstrate if I have enough time. And that application will then automatically start the next time you reboot your Fire Stick or Fire TV. And lastly down here, we have the article, which will show you how you can remap your media buttons if you want to use Netflix or maybe the Disney Plus button to start your custom launcher. So get the latest version from there. Let me quickly show you the auto start, which is this application here. So you start it up. It again shows you all of your installed applications on your device. And you can literally just go through the list, find the app you want to launch. In my case, we can see Lean Back on Fire. Click on that. Press select button again. So this is now being set for auto start. So I can now click on OK. Press the home key. And the next time I reboot my device by pressing the play and select buttons together, hold that down. I mean, it does take about, I think, 35 or 40 seconds once it's come back for it to actually start the custom launcher, but it definitely works, guys. So if you are looking for an easy way, and it doesn't have to be this, obviously, maybe you want to start the care application or another application, definitely setting it in auto start as I've demonstrated. And in a couple of seconds, I'm now hoping that the custom launcher will start. So just to confirm that it definitely works, you definitely can use auto start to start any application that you want on your device. So that's pretty much for this video, guys. Really appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this custom launcher and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.